This video will show you how to make a garlic butter sauce for seafood, Cajun style. It makes enough sauce for four to five pounds of seafood. You're gonna start with six to seven cloves of chopped or minced garlic. Feel free to use the entire bulb if you love garlic like I do. I use five sticks of butter, five tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of sweet paprika, three tablespoons of lemon pepper seasoning, two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning, and two tablespoons of dried parsley. Feel free to mix up your dried herbs. You could do oregano or basil, your choice. Then we're gonna flavor our water for the corn and the potatoes. You're gonna season this to your liking. So I've added salt to the water, I've added a lemon, as well as juice, three bay leaves, and about three capfuls of liquid Zatarain's crab boil. So it's really left up to you and who you're cooking for as to how much salt you add to the water, etc. The lemon will help the crabs peel very, very easily. So you want to have some type of acid. You can also use white wine. So as the magic happens, I then add my corn and my potatoes. So I added six mini corns and about nine baby red potatoes. I'm going to boil these until they are tender. And you're really going to boil them until the potatoes are tender. The corn is already cooked. So you're going to boil it until the potatoes are tender. And I've put them on another part of the stove to cook. So as they're cooking, I'm going to start the butter sauce. I'm adding the five sticks of butter. And then I'm going to add my chopped or minced garlic. I want to keep my fire on low because I don't want to burn the butter. The butter can easily burn at a higher temperature. So I'm going to let that melt as well as let the garlic infuse the butter. Once that has started to melt, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my fire is where it needs to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings. Then you want to mix this really well. Once you start to mix it, it's going to become very fragrant. So that's what you want. You're going to let it slowly cook. And as it does that, you got to make sure that you have your shrimp already prepped and clean and your crab already washed and clean as well. So here I've gone back to my corn and potatoes because my potatoes are ready and because the crab legs are already cooked when you purchase them from the store or the farmer's market, I'm actually going to add them to the water now because all I really want to do is let them warm throughout and I want them to get infused with that water with the seasonings that I seasoned the crab, well I seasoned the corn and the potatoes with. So I've added the crab legs, I'm going to put them in put it to the side, I'm going to let it sit. Then I'm going to come back and add my shrimp to the actual butter sauce. You can get shrimp with the shell on or shrimp with the shell off, it's up to you. And I'm going to go ahead and toss this mixture throughout and make sure all of my shrimp are coated. You're going to let the shrimp cook roughly on the low temperature anywhere between 6 to 10 minutes. It really depends on the size of the shrimp, but one thing I can tell you, you want to make sure that your shrimp remain a C. You don't want to overcook your shrimp to where they form an O. If the head of the shrimp and the tail of the shrimp touch, you have overcooked your shrimp. You do not want chewy shrimp. So at this point, I'm coming back to show you that my shrimp have poached in the butter sauce and they are not forming an O. They are forming a C. And that's what we want. So we can do a happy dance. We did not overcook the shrimp. And what I'm going to start doing now is ladling my sauce into my serving bowl. Because I want sauce at the bottom. And then as I put my seafood into the bowl, I want to start layering the sauce over the seafood, the corn, and the potatoes. So I'm just going to kind of fast forward at this point and readjust the camera. So I'm starting to put the crab legs, the potatoes, and the corn into the serving bowl and then ladling my sauce over each layer. You can layer as much or as little as you like. 
because what you're able to do at the end and what I like to do when I'm serving my guests after I ladle the sauce into the serving bowl, I like to leave enough sauce to put into little serving dishes or containers or even on a plate so that my guests can actually sop up the sauce as they eat. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment below and let me know what videos you would like for me to create. And please subscribe to my channel at The Girly Chef and share the video with family and friends on your social media platforms. See you soon. Bye.